Yeah. Maybe you need bigger palms. <laughs> Kristen just found out that she has small palms. Yeah. That's and then I said, have you looked at the rest of you? You're just <laughs> really that's small. Why I have I have, have very poor hand contact on a volleyball. And people really? would be like, what? Like, no way. And I'm like, yeah. So no, you're all fingertips? It's really bad. Yeah. And it's just because my because hand. Because look at how my long palm, skinny, long I do. I have very are. long fingers. Oh, wow. Yeah. But yeah. my palm is just so tiny. So there's not a lot of surface area for the ball to hit. <laughs> which is why I have poor hand contact. Yes. So she's sitting there every single day or every single time out. And she would just grab a ball and put her hand up next to it. Like she has never <laughs> noticed how small. I'm just well, fascinated we, by this. We, me and Drew have been like, man, my hand caught, like, we, I mean, been talking about that forever. And finally, it was like brought up and was like, oh my goodness, wait, your palms are small. That's why you have poor <laughs> hand contact. It all makes sense. So, That's yeah. That's awesome. That, how did you figure that out? How do you find out how small your palms are? Because someone else had very large palms. And I was like, <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I looked at my hands. I was like, my palm is so small. So this is just an anecdote. You just looked at it and was like, oh, this is small. You didn't yeah. actually measure it. And in comparison to others. Yeah, to others. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's but funny. you can't, like, if we were to compare, compare, it's just, it's unfair. Like, if yeah. she had my arms or legs, like, she would just look weird. <laughs> so. Man. But I guess that's why you're good at volleyball. The long it. fingers, though, right? You get little, I don't know. I'm not just making sure that I'm not. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch him play volleyball for the first time. Stop season. it. No. Relax. <laughs> You can play hey, it sand in the sand. Huh? You'd probably have yes. some good hand contact because you probably have large palms. Do you we'll have big out. palms? Gonna, I, don't, I don't know. Do I? I don't know. We have I to mean, measure them. Does it matter? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I would like to think so in I, comparison to a volleyball. I was maybe, about to say, but, your hand is definitely yeah, larger than yeah, mine, so your yeah, hand yeah, contact I would hope. will be better. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> But now the hand-eye coordination, that's the hard that, part, jumping. That was always what yeah, threw me off. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. <laughs> we just forget about that. Thank you, thank bit. you. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what the experience comes with. Yeah. That's <laughs> When I got out on the volleyball, that's why I'm scared to play volleyball. Just the timing, I'm like up there and I'm like, I'm falling down. I'm like, no, it's getting away from me. <laughs> and I'm just embarrassed and everybody thinks I'm just going to crush a ball and it's... Yeah. But then you get that one Oof. solid swing, and then you're like, ooh. <sighs> that felt good. I'm going to keep coming back. It's like golf. You yeah. get that golf. one solid I was just swing. Just to say golf. You're like, oh, yeah, I am I can I can keep doing this. Yeah. I haven't found that in golf yet, so I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't play golf. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's frustrating. That's oh, funny. Oh, yeah. But I think that's an – what? <laughs> Uh oh! You guys played get, golf recently? No, mm -hmm. I just get so angry with. I I me would too. probably just want to snap golf clubs oh, in half. No, I actually I want after Paris I do want to play golf a lot more. I, I like enjoy. OGO, it. They that's right. They got us all set up with really really nice clubs, but we have put all other things on pause. So no pickleball, no golf, no Makes nothing. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Post Paris. Post yeah, Paris. Post Paris. That's. That sounds like a podcast episode alone right yeah. now, post Paris. Oh what my is the first goodness. thing you want to do? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. That's we'll cool. save that for for then because yes. there are so many things. <laughs> That's what I mean. We'll just start getting the list ready now. It's yeah. June, so it'll be perfect. Yeah. We'll just start building the list. Speaking of lists, the list comes out June 9th. Oh, let's go. The yeah. official list. One, yeah. Is that with like when the rankings are solidified and everything yet? Or is that yeah. like, mm, Everything gets set, set in stone. What is it? Yeah. June what? 9th. June 9th. June 9th. Yeah. Because we there put any that on the calendar as soon as it was yeah. it was January of 2023 and we were like, okay, we have all the way until June 9th. I think we actually talked about that on a, on a show at one point. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, so there's one there's one last Olympic qualifying tournament okay. that is happening this weekend. Starts tomorrow. Yeah, it start, oh yeah, qualifier okay. starts tomorrow. So you but guys we aren't going to be there. <laughs> yeah, we, we will not be there. We chose just looking at the schedule that we thought it was best to really push for, we did Brazil, AVP Huntington, and then, uh, how do they say it? Espino? Espino. 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 That? No Portugal. E. That's yeah, Portugal. Portugal. Espino. And it was like three back to back to back that we were just like, you know, we're going to push for this and then have take a Strava off. And then we're also going to do Stad. Uh, Ooh, in Switzerland. Yeah. You can't miss that yeah. one, I feel like. That Just one's so, so pretty. Yeah, exactly. But we'll have like a solid, we have three solid weeks of like consistent training. We're at home. We don't have to get a flight on a flight for what, 24 days, 23 days? Yeah. Which so is nice. nice. That's but yeah, so schedule wise, now is the time where it's, it's like the final like tune up. Like we're really pushing, like we're going to be getting after it training wise. Um, but yeah, we're missing out on the last Olympic qualifying event. Wow. Yeah. It just would have Sorry. been back yeah. and forth. And yeah. a lot of people have been playing like they did AVP Huntington. Then they did Spino. Then they went straight to King of the Court or there was one in Poland. And then they went Czech Republic. And we were like, we've mm -hmm. never yeah. actually done four tournaments in a row. We don't 
Yeah. I mean, we're not going to try right now to go do that. So. Makes sense. And also the goal was to lock up the two seed and by winning this little guy, Bad. it um, we officially locked up the two seed. So we don't go. We didn't necessarily yeah. like, have to play in risk Australia. reward. Yeah, risk reward. That's what I was going to yeah. ask. I was wondering how that soli- how, if that solidified you guys. There yeah. it is. Answer locked in the two seed. Let's go. New hardware. It looks pretty up there. It does. That's nice. I like that color. Yeah. It does. It looks. You guys got a trophy. <laughs> you got to yeah, like that yeah, color. Trophy, <laughs> trophy and a medal. We love we that. Did. That's and it's always fun getting those back through the airport because people. It's like beep 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 beep. Yeah, as yeah they check my. Through, you're like wait wait oh you know what it carry is carry on. Actually? Yeah. And I'm like, let me pull it out. <laughs> the best is when it's the Swiss bell. If uh, you win a bell. Yeah, hopefully when, hopefully we have one of those that we can bring back. When you pull that out of your suitcase, they just kind of all look at each other and they slide it past. They're like, who is this weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> Going back to America with, with the this. bell. Where, are you bringing yeah. anything? Yes, actually. Some hardware. Yes. How yeah, heavy yeah. is that bell? Oh, it it's is heavy. It's heavy, right? That's what I thought. It yeah, is, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I was Very. carrying it around because I made it my carry-on. And I checked all my other bags. It was so like I your personal it. item. So yeah. Cool. yeah. And it was like a, it was like carrying a kid around. Like it's big and it's weird and it's heavy. You're just doing core exercises in the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the airport. Yeah. You get home, your oblique's a little sore. You're like, what the hell? It really, yeah. Yeah. really yeah. is though. Yeah. Man. That's yeah. I, awesome. want, I want another one of those. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys bring another one back? That would be cool. I would love <laughs> to. <laughs> and when's that one? That was the end that we leave the end beginning of, of July. Yeah, so beginning okay. of July. It's so like July, be like, like the July 4th weekend. That'll be like the final two. When, so Paris is the end of July, right? We leave for Paris July 20th. Yeah. So, and everybody is asking us when we play. Okay. So I will tell everybody right now, we do not know. <laughs> we are not hiding it. Right. And we promise is the second we know when we, we don't play, when, does, when do we they will draw? tell everyone. Yeah. When even is their draw? I don't it's even... the end of June, early July. I don't know the exact yeah. date, but there are a, a lot of people that are asking us. And I love people's perspective on that. Like, like they just think that you're knowing and hiding it. And like, you're like the draw, like this is how it works everywhere. Like yeah. there's yeah. a draw, right? And seeds and the way that it all plays out. Mm-hmm. And that's how the schedule is determined, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and I I totally understand everybody's trying to, like, work around the schedule and everything. But, again, yes, we do not know. (laughs) We do not know. (laughs) Yeah. Do you know a lot of people that are going to Paris to support you guys? But, I mean, obviously family and stuff like that. Yeah, I think my list for the longest or the most in a day, I think it's 38 people. Well, they already have, like, the days that you, like, that you're leaving. Like, is that tickets or So passes I or? asked everybody to tell me the days that they're going to be here. So wow. I ha- it's it's a lot of work for us yeah, to put together. Yeah. We put together a contact list and who the person is and how they're related to us and who's going to be there on what day. And then you just kind of go through each one of those days. And so it's you're, you're tracking everybody else's flights and yeah. when they're getting in, oh when they're God. going out. So... Yes, it was a lot to put together, so it's just it's all set and sent out and we are trying to request as many tickets as possible. It just it's tough to Do you have somebody handling that for yes. you when you get there? Okay. Oh, so yeah. we okay. sent that's why we sent it off. Okay. So Good. Yeah. anybody contacting us about tickets, it's like please don't talk to us right. about tickets. <laughs> yeah. We have so many other things going yeah, on seriously. and we we love the support, right. but Please don't contact yeah, us Yeah, this is about the tickets. most important. Yeah, exactly. Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah, no, yeah. I definitely think we will have a lot of support in which is Paris, so, which is will so be awesome. very wild. What did they say that as soon as we, we were like, hey, we're going to need to request some tickets. Yeah. And they're like, oh, sure. And they were like, how many? And we were like, 60? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, wait, what? <laughs> they were shocked. It was like an absurd amount of tickets that's awesome. yeah. and that's what we also we do know a lot of people are wanting to rep tk and stuff in paris and again we sold out again yes but we are working on that and just so you know people again it's more stuff is coming out i promise that's awesome <laughs> and it's new what do they know that? are we what? saying that that it's new it's it new. may be a new design. It may know. not we'll look see. like anything else. We have new gear coming soon. We'll see. Yes. We'll leave it yeah. there. Leave yeah. it there. Love yeah. it. But I, like I promise that. it's coming out. So again, we keep getting a lot of questions about that too. <laughs> that's good. It's coming oh, out. That's good. That means people are interested. I'm still trying to <laughs> yeah. figure out if I'm going to make it out there. I just want to go experience it and be out there. I've never been to France. So, and Paris is bucket list. So I just, even if I go for like two days, I just want to be like, yes, I was out there when they were playing. Like, yep. just experience it. So I'm trying to talk Robbie into going and... Mm. Going out there okay. and just going to experience it, yeah. Especially yeah, if it's go- only two people, it's way easier to find housing. Yeah, yeah. you got to see the Eiffel Tower. I know. You that's. Just, I mean, to. I just have to. Yeah, I just have to go experience that. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a must. 
They draw out the beach women's beach volleyball though, because it's like probably one of the most popular sports, right? Like if two I, weeks. Yes, long. it's crazy. It's you guys play like a few games, right? And then it's like you have to wait seven days or something, right? You play every other day for pool play. For, for pool, pool play. play. But we then there's like a right, and then there's like a, a, a really little bit. Long wait. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. It goes through the 27th through the 9th. Yeah, that's so crazy. It's really long. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's wild, and that's what we were talking. It's wild because like the Olympic Village, there will be like people who like the day after opening ceremonies, like. They do their event and they're done. They're gone. Yeah, exactly. That's it's it. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. It's like crazy. So it's oh, I'm very curious what the Olympic Village is like because obviously, again, if you're you just made it to the Olympics, you're done your event, you're gonna go. A are you gonna wild. go party? Yeah. yeah. I would imagine. Whereas yeah. like so many people are still like in the zone. Like <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm There's very going curious. to be a range of emotions. Yeah. yeah. Just and we've just heard like around. so much about just the craziness of the village. So. I've heard so many stories. We'll see. So, yeah, yeah, I can. I, again, I think that has to be some sort of podcast, something recap on the village alone. But yeah. maybe we take questions and then filter them and just make sure the cameras aren't on yeah. for a little while. Make sure we, we know what we yeah. can talk about, what we can't. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited for you guys on that. I've heard some really wild stories. I know some people have played there and done some stuff there. Base, it was, baseball was there for the first time in like 20 yeah. years last year. So yeah. a lot of my, a couple of my friends played there. Yeah. In, it was in Tokyo, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. That was, yeah, which was awesome. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for you guys. But, yeah, so let's recap some of the stuff you guys have just done. Added some new hardware to the things, right? So, Huntington, Man. AVP, and what do you, how do you say it? Spino. 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 That sounds Spino. a lot easier than uh, our sponsor. Yeah. I'm just Bienvenue. kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. Bienvenue. I know. Bienvenue. <laughs> Yeah. That was really that was good. That was the practice. best you've it's, ever done. Yeah, it's yeah. starting to roll off the tongue. He's just yeah. sitting there in front of the mirror. I'm like Ron Burgundy. Bienvenue. Yeah. Bienvenue. Bienvenue. <laughs> I do like the opening scene in Anchorman. I'm like, bienvenue. And I'm like in there just in the mirror every morning while I'm brushing my teeth. I love that movie. Just yes. like while I'm getting ready for the podcast. But yes, shout out our sponsor that yes. allows us to do this stuff. Thank um, you. Yeah, I just wanted to show them some love. And you guys also have a new sponsor, right? Yeah, yeah everywhere. New water. Yeah. New water. It's fantastic. Straight out of Louisiana. Yeah, based in Covington, Louisiana. Like, that's awesome create i have some family out there like yeah that's awesome. it's nice to to have the home support local too yeah, a little bit absolutely mm -hmm. yeah that's cool so are you guys wearing any tattoos while you're like any of those sponsors or anything like that how's that work we, or is it different? not them trifecta who is Let's our, go. that is yes. we have Ooh. gotten a lot of questions so our, our armband that we have been wearing yes. it's a t it's for, it's for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no it's for <laughs> trifecta sports therapy which is yes by far the best just sports recovery mm -hmm. just place they and have everything and every single person that they hire there incredible so, yeah, yeah they they're are. awesome and but like if anna you, couture the founder yeah. owner she's amazing she's one of the best humans you'll ever meet so if yeah. you and we in huntington it was actually funny we went we were like oh man it's been a long week we got to we got to huntington and we were like you know a massage like kind of sounds nice right now and we do i say the I'm not going to say the business, but we go <laughs> to another business and get a massage. And both of us walk out and we were like, what we, was that? We oh, are so no. spoiled. Like, try. It was like literally was like trifecta. Like, the I was massage just say, like, was like this. Yeah. Like the, uh, the uh, good, the right? Of, get out of here. Yeah, Pay yeah. us and go. <laughs> the amount of appreciation that, that we then had for trifecta after. Because once you like start going to trifecta, you just get used to it. That's yeah. what you're used to. And then as soon as we went to someone else, we were like, this is terrible. <laughs> Where's trifecta? Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah, no, they're Anna, amazing. Anna's amazing. They're amazing over there. It's like when I go over there and Anna's working on me too, it's like, all right, let me just block off four hours too, because yeah. we're going to talk. She's going to be like the hour massage or like therapy is going to be two and a half hours. And we're going <laughs> to yeah. talk for an hour. Like she's amazing. Like it's just good people, good vibes. And you walk in her place yeah. over on, uh, it's on good, off Goodwood, of Goodwood yeah, right? Goodwood. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make yep. sure I got that right. Still learning yeah. my Louisiana place after 17 <laughs> years. But. Um, yeah, no, we yeah. went. So the ADP Huntington, we yeah. got. It's we're so used to getting to a place early, like playing internationally. <laughs> so flying in and uh, into California, and we're like, oh my gosh, we have to play the next day. It was really nice to be in America though, yeah. and we got to catch up with a lot of. Oh my the goodness! Other it was teams. also shout out to the ADP for putting us up in a very nice hotel. Yeah. Um, I literally it was. This is this is kind of sad, but I went. I know exactly I, what you're going to say. What am I going to say? She's going to say, it is so nice that when she went to go take a shower, she didn't have to, like, worry if the towel was clean. I just, am I right? I, yeah. It's just like, a little thing. We had been in some interesting places, and you, like, yeah. open up the towel, and you're like, mm, Ooh, that's, bugs a, in uh, yeah, that's an yeah. interesting-looking stain. Yeah. Like, oh, God. <laughs> but, like, here, it was like, I don't have to worry about it. I didn't have to check the sheets. I'm like, I know I don't, yep. I don't need to check the sheets. I can just get in this. <laughs> bed 
<laughs> Kristen. <laughs> Hold. We're going to need to cut for about five minutes while Jared is able to tell the story. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you got it. That's I don't even the, know what you're, you're about to say. When you were in the and the sheets had like... St- <laughs> I still don't even know what's happening. Okay, I'm really trying to pull myself the together. The sheets had sand on them? No, they had stains on stains. them. Stains? So. so <laughs> oh, this, this is a legit belly laugh. This is I'm good. I'm telling you, she does this all the time, though, and then she'll sell you the story, and everyone else is like. Nobody else thinks it's funny. Yeah. Okay, it really is funny because Chris was so mad. We finally get to Brazil, which is one of the worst places to travel to because there's just yeah, so yeah, many yeah, stops yeah. and it's yeah. so long. Kristen finally lays, lays down on the pillow and a giant stain. Oh. On the pillow? It was oh. on the pillow. Oh. It was on the pillow. Her face, she was just so <laughs> angry. It's like, oh, this is good. I'm just going to flip it around and we're going to forget about it. <laughs> That's a grinder move. We're just going to, other side of the pillow, we're just going to put it out of my brain. <laughs> yeah. I was so tired. I was like, I don't know. I just want to go to sleep. Oh my God. That is so grinder. Yeah. That's it was also. But that's why it was so funny because she was like, there is a whole stain. My head was just laying on. I guess I'll just flip the pillow over. <laughs> but it was also. Problem solved. I mean, don't. I, I do love Brazil. Like, I don't want this to be like, no, I know, hate I know, Brazil. I know, I know, I know. But it was also my bed. The sheet. So, this say this is the whole bed. This is the whole mattress. My sheet ended right here. So huh. my feet were just like chilling on, on the, the actual mattress. Yeah. But every night she would tell me that. She's like, look, the sheet is sheets still here. We're fine. It's like weird that it magically didn't change. Like, what did you expect to I, happen? I thought when they came in, because her sheets were fine. So I was like, I thought when she they just came in chilling, to like, do. What's your problem yeah. over there? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my pillow doesn't yeah. have a stain on it. Like, oh, I thought sucks. I would get new sheets or something. I don't know. Maybe oh even my change God. them in between days. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's probably why there's stains on. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, that explains a lot, I guess. Yeah, that's, yeah, that makes sense, it all actually. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, anyway, but yeah, so Huntington Beach. <laughs> so Huntington <laughs> Beach, the hotel, hotel was, nice. was absolutely was, fantastic. What hotel? Got, nice. I love when you get How to walk. You say it? Pasea? Oh, Pasea, Pasea Hotel okay. and Spa, I think. Um, I love when you get to walk to and from the venue and the hotel, and it's not super long because. Also, that area. I don't just, know. We had played in Huntington before, but I don't know if we just like didn't explore as much. But that whole area is just like. It seems like very new and just like there's so many places to eat, so I many coffee yeah, shops. Like awesome, yeah. it was just it a really very is. fun vibe. I was yeah. a bit like very big fan, and the food, like healthy food. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my gosh! Speaking yeah. of a vibe, the whoever the DJ crushed it at really? Huntington Beach. in Huntington. That's yeah, DJ awesome. Ruche. Yeah. yeah, we were like jamming like, the in the entire middle time. Points. Like Drew was kind of talking to us until he left midway through the finals. His flight we played later than he thought it was going to be, and he was what? he was like. He we're looked at, at his we're phone. at like seven five in the third, and well before, right before the third set started, he was like, "Oh, you know, I should finals? have a yeah, this is finals. The finals." It's like I should text Mary. I think we have a flight that we <laughs> may need to catch. <laughs> is that one of your timeouts? Like seven yeah. five? Like literally? Oh my and, god! No, it wasn't even during. It well, was right we before were talking the start about of this. the third. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. we were talking about this in the timeout, and he's like texting Mary, and then he was like, "Yeah, so I'm I may just have to like leave." And on one of our side switches, <laughs> he's like. Bye guys, good luck. And he, no, you said bye, do good. Yeah, and you probably see him just like take off, <laughs> just starts oh running. Oh my god, that's legendary. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, that would is have hilarious. been more legendary if we would have yeah, won. If we would have then yeah. won, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know it happens. Yeah. I let a serve yeah. go. You know, <sighs> happens. I was watching that. That was yeah. But yeah, that's crazy. And it was they had a nice little comeback. It was yeah. tough. Yeah, that's part it of was, it. It was still fun, though. It was, it was fun, and the entire weekend was fun, and it was just it was good vibes good overall. Vibes. We yeah. we went over to the Slunks tent, and we had like a little meet and greet yeah, type like of thing. Yeah, like autograph signing. Um, but getting to catch Damn, up with awesome. our yeah, like our our new agent, and just kind of hanging out with a bunch of people and like teammates and other yeah. not teammates, but like I don't know. You almost kind of feel like teammates when you play at the same tournaments, yeah. and then the the guy side too, and just seeing everybody in the tent. It was yeah. so fun. And that seeing was... people like wear the TKN gear, like internationally, we like see a little bit, but obviously no, it's internationally. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that is always just very Fan heartwarming, yeah. and it fe- yeah, it, it feels fun. nice. That is, that's awesome. But yeah, and then and we had a there were a lot turnaround. of people there. The entire uh, what's it called? The pier. The pier. Full of people. That's yeah. Like uh, watching in. Huntington's a cool tournament. That's the one where they do the um, 
You get your name played on the thing or something? Oh, uh, no, that's, that's Manhattan. Manhattan. That's Manhattan? Okay, okay. That'll be right after the Olympics. Yeah, that's three days after the Olympics. Oh, and you guys have are that tournament. Yeah. We have no idea. <sighs> that would be something no if idea. you... Yeah. If you guys do that, that's crazy. But, yeah. <laughs> we are crazy. I, mean, I, could, yeah, I know, yeah, exactly. But then we played Huntington and then had our, the quickest turnaround, I think. Yeah. Would you, yeah, I remember that like the quickest turnaround we've ever had? Yeah. So well, Sunday we finished at like, what, four or five yeah, in like California. That. We drove to LA that night. And then that Monday morning we flew to Portugal. And we didn't sleep a single bit on the flight. Because when, when you fly in the morning, I mean, you're just like, you're not tired and then you land yeah. and then you have to spend the entire day and be awake. <laughs> and we landed and went to a practice oh three hours God. later after not sleeping. Just and because that was your time? That and you guys switching had on... balls. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did horrible. It was, <laughs> it was actually embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine. But, yeah. yeah, no sleep, different but, ball. Yeah. Like, fresh going, off in, going in, I was like, I don't like don't do anything crazy like we're just getting out to get moving yeah. and whatever and then it was a rough practice and then what did i tell you you said everything's gonna be fine <laughs> as she i said does. i said do not let this practice affect anything yeah because i was like it's, it's well, like you're we're because jet lagged, Anthony, everything. yeah i was sitting there and not sitting i was standing up but i should have just been sitting because i did nothing I was in service eve at the end of practice and i was like so drained i was hungry and i was tired and a ball literally like flew back and my reaction time, it like landed and then I turned. Like it was so and I was like, Chris and I honestly have no idea. I just can't even yeah. function. Like, and she was like, it's okay. Yeah. 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 It's like I'm not worried in this place. Yeah. I Clearly. obviously was. Yeah. Hey, I see it worked, it worked out. out. It yeah. worked out well. I was gonna say, whatever, maybe you do it again. Yeah, yeah maybe you do that again. Yeah. But getting there on two what was it? We would have gotten there on like Tuesday. We afternoon Tuesday. and then we played thursday oh I, I remember because you guys like i didn't text you on monday to you know just give you guys a day after the tournament and i was going to text you on tuesday to be like hey are you guys back in town i didn't know and then you guys posted something i'm like holy shit like they're <laughs> they're already gone like yeah. all right i'll uh, we'll just let we'll get them when they come back yeah. yeah um so yeah no i figured that was a quick turnaround for you guys yeah that's tough it's actually funny but that I, you said that because one of my friends came back to louisiana and she tracks my location. So she was like, oh, my gosh, you want to hang out? And yeah. then she, it was like three hours later because I was asleep and yeah. the time changed. She's like, just tracked you. You're across the ocean. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. When you get back, I'll yeah. be here. Yeah. 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 Um, before we talk about uh, Portugal, though, you guys got to eat with Drew. Oh, and Mary. that was yeah, another thing that? with. Uh, While we're talking about Drew. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Good old Drew. But it's cr like our lives have just been absolutely crazy that you would think like we would have time to like. I don't know, go spend time with our coach and uh, his wife, but we literally like have not had time. So it was so refreshing that for in AVP Huntington, we went out to like dinner one night and just finally had time to just like regroup, just catch up on everything. It was like three hours of laughing and stories. That's awesome. And, yeah. yeah. It, was it was fun. Yeah. It was Your guys just nice with, to have that. With them is awesome. It really is. No, I love that. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to cut it you off. It was like another like family people. dinner. Yeah that we hadn't had in a very long time. Oh, those are important, especially while you're like, those are the little things, you know what I'm saying? That kind of get you back to home base when you guys are doing all the crazy travel and everything. Yeah, certainly. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, we're already at 24 minutes, so I know you guys got to get out of here, so that's why I'm running through some of this stuff and looking at your guys' notes, but um, so it was Portugal, right? Say it again yep. for me. Espino. Espino. I can't I like say that. it. I, I can't have say to say it like Espino. Espino. Like, yeah. Um, all right, so quick turnaround. 19 hours of traveling, shitty practice. I had, after, at probably the wildest encounter. That's what, I cannot wait. I see it on here and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, the guy? I gotta yeah. know. Yeah, the so guy. after we win, we do like the podium and stuff. And when we come out, there's like a ton of people who were like wanting pictures, autographs or whatever. And I'm just like, I'm sitting there like taking pictures. And all of a sudden this guy like starts like coming at me. And is like coming in for from a, a kiss. From a distance, yeah. he's like, you can like tell, you're like, whoa, that's a little weird energy. Yeah, like he's he's coming in. I'm like, <laughs> what's happening right now? <laughs> and he's literally comes. And I wish I would have seen it. I wish ever. I wish someone recorded it because there was people around me and they had to see me be like, what is happening right now? And he just kept coming and literally like kissed me on the cheek. I was like, just a just, random just Portugal ran man. Yeah. Portuguese? No, that's not Portuguese, I was like, right? Because that's yeah. Brazil. Portuguese. Okay. You have, uh, uh, from, they went from Portugal to, to Brazil. Gotcha, like, gotcha, and then gotcha, I, gotcha. I'm going to be honest. I think we took a picture after. I don't know. I think I was just <laughs> so just like, 
What just happened? <laughs> but after she was like, has a did anybody porch. see this? <laughs> and I was like, no. And she's like, somebody just tried to kiss me. I was like, what? Did he go in for the lips and you had no, a turn? No, no. Okay, so it was cheap. Well, at I least. don't know. Because Yeah, you were already kind of in defense. I think she yeah. was blacked out. Like, what is going on? Right, right. But I was just like, what? <laughs> Anyway, well, weird that you have to was, be on defense mode after that. Yeah, with a yeah. guy coming at you and kissing you. Yeah. So that's but then later, she was telling us actually the story, and we were off looking for our coffee mugs and our keychains that have each city or whatever on them. That you guys And collect. to yep. this, the cutest little grandma that was about, well, even shorter than you, just came <laughs> she over. Was she was short. like, she was little tiny. Right and she, like, reaches up to give me like to like grab me and like give me a kiss on each cheek and i was like i guess they just do that yeah i, think I was just that, gonna say yeah, i think it's just like a normal thing cultural. but to us we're like mm. yeah no not in but america it was just a little it was like an older gentleman yeah was, you're like you don't know what to expect was like this is yeah. interesting but yeah. then reverse the grandma kiss like the cute little older lady kisses you and you're like oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, See, yeah. like it's just it really is it's just so different yeah but in america we're just Pretty taught different. differently we do like side hugs and you're like hey yeah. what's up how are you yeah it's like yeah no, i get it it's yeah. different cultures yeah it is yeah. but it was funny yeah yeah um, i do have to give one last shout out though i feel like this has been an episode of shout outs that's good to, um, that's what we're T- here for tiy gift it these custom shoes aren't they so cute has inspire on it that's those are word. awesome so Literally, we were about to wear these same it's exact outfit, and I had to change. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's the ponytail. Company. It's our ponytail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best, literally the best in the game. I, any female, I you need to have them. Like, if they you're are. active, not active, I'm telling. They're the best. But yeah, they sent us nice little like gift box. Damn. And I just had those to give are some fresh a shout out because they're adorable. They are. They so are cute. awesome. Yeah. And I love shoes. No, those those look nice. I like it. That's cool. Very nice of them. Yeah. Are they a sponsor or are they just where you guys work? Together, it's a partnership. Stuff. partnership. Yeah, it's a yeah. partnership. Nice. For sure. Um, awesome. We actually have our own color with yeah. them. So it's the boundless blue. I, we're not wearing it. There's yeah. so many colors that, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you got to mix options. it up a yeah, little. You got to have options. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. No, I love that. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, real quick, I want to ask you guys. What's you do know? Do we think, have any tickets? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna wait, but yeah, dude. Now it's uh, on air. But um, when you guys are down, like a good amount you know, like <laughs> what's the like mindset we were the entire the, yeah time. exactly like that's kind of one of the things i'm like i'm watching just like as a fan i'm like i want to believe but you're like i don't know are they out of it are they in like what's the mindset about that for you guys during those times man my favorite is when kristen is just like we're gonna earn points we're gonna earn points like i'm walking back and that's what she says to me and i'm like yeah so it's 15 9 I, or 15 8 and you're like that's what you're saying like in we're the, gonna earn points and then um it is it's just like I'm ready to go now. Yeah. Okay. And it's like like a little like spark or a smile. Yeah. For me, it's knowing, um, I think we are a very hard team to score against and it's trust. It's that trust that I have in that, that I'm like, we just need to, um, kind of settle down our side out. And once that happens, we we are going to earn points and it is that, that trust in that. And I do, I'm no matter like what the score I do, I just have in my head, I'm like, they won't be able to score against us. I and it. I think once we're – there's something that happens once we are down that, like, a switch gets flipped. I don't know what it is. That it is just like, no, they can't score. Like, literally, they can't score or we're going to lose. And I think that is when the, like, best comes out of both of us, which is not good. We need to figure out how to, <laughs> how to make that happen from the beginning. But there is there's just, like, another level that our game gets taken to, especially just on the defensive side of, like, yeah. she's not going to let the ball get past her, and I'm not going to let the ball hit the sand. And I that's for sure what I am thinking. No no matter what the score, I am never, like, we're at, we're, we're kind of out of this. I'm gotcha. like, But no. it's an extra gear when our backs are against the wall that I'm like, ha- we have actually talked about this. Like, can we do that yeah. not when we're down? Right. Yeah. But I don't know how to get there. Like it really is. It's almost like a life or death, fight or flight type of thing. And yeah. your whole body just like. Backs against the wall mindset versus like the you're up 14 to 7 or 14 8 and the expectation that you're going to win mindset. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's interesting. No. I, that's what I was curious, you know. And again, a lot of this content I think is valuable to people and just their mindset and life, sports, all of that. Um, but again, as a fan, just watching too, you're just like curious. And I'm like, sometimes I'm like, 
I wonder what their mindset is right now. And then you like look up 10 minutes later and it's like, oh shit, all right, here we yeah. go. Like, and you got, and volleyball is so much about momentum too. Oh, so like yeah. once you guys get that momentum, it's like, okay, here we go. That's fun. Yeah. So yeah, I just, I think that's cool. Oh, I think the other thing is that we have done it multiple times. Not that it's good that we go down, <laughs> but yeah. we also know and trust that we can come back. So it's like There's every no single panic. time we look at it, we're like, it's been worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've been here before. Yeah. 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 Familiar. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you don't want it to be there, but you have been as part yeah. of the game. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's what makes you guys great. So, um, again, it's inspiring. It's fun. And when you're down, I guess it gives us all hope, you know, that we're just like, eh, we're not yeah. out of this. Right? It's just not the don't, start yeah. that we wanted. Don't that's count, all. Yeah, don't count exactly. us out. I don't think we ever count you out, but it's just like, Seven you're just zero. like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> not the start that we wanted, but it's all about how you finish. Honestly, that's probably what we, if we side switch or something, there are times where I'm like, hmm. That probably could have been a better start. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. But that's, I mean, baseball is like that too. When I played, right, it's like, I mean, we, I don't know if you guys probably haven't followed, but LSU baseball just finished yeah. their season, but they were, so, they were down 8 nothing the other day. I'm going to be honest. I take the L for, it you jinxed it? for the loss you jinxed last it. night. What did you say? No, I didn't say anything. I was like, you know, I haven't been, I haven't watched, I watched the game yesterday. Okay. No, not yesterday. Two days ago. When Two they days won. ago, yeah. yes. Yeah. And so I turn on. Turn it on at the, I think, bottom of the eighth. Yeah. Oh, God. I was like, all right, I'm going to watch this. Yeah. Then, Jump comes in on the mound. Guy hits a base hit. and like, TV off. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's enough. Yeah. And I was like, yep, I ruined it. Yeah, it was me. I turned yeah. the TV on. Or at least we have somebody to blame now. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Go. Give it to yeah. me. We'll Everybody yep. that likes LSU baseball, it's Kristen's fault. Yeah. Good. I'm so there sorry. <laughs> I really it was. It was that's me. That's good. It'll take the pressure off the right fielder, that poor kid. Yeah. Like, I don't know if there was... He literally missed a fly ball and it like kind of hit him in the face and then they came and scored and that was the winning run. So, oh, see, I didn't yeah. see all that. Yeah, I t- TV yeah, was already. It was your fault. It was your fault. The reason it happened though is because you decided to turn the game on. Yeah, I know. I felt bad. He's a freshman too. He's a really good player, but it's just like. Wait, one of was those, it Brown? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, Jake Brown. Jake Brown. Yeah, yep, right fielder. Yeah, sucks. I think he lost the ball a little bit in the light. His, afterwards, the camera's on him. He's like twitching his eyes a little bit. So I'm like, oh man, poor kid. But yeah, God. it would have ended the inning. And then, yeah, the next batter got a hit. It was, yeah, tough. Brutal. Tough, tough draw, but part of it. Sorry. Yeah. But that's what, I mean, again, baseball is like that too, where they were down eight nothing, you know, and it's like some people write them off. And I'm like, yo, this is, no, that's not the way this goes. So yeah. it's like, yeah, it's, it's all about momentum and swings mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And, um, so I'm happy you guys got a gold, add some more hardware and everything. The wind was crazy out there before. Like, oh my gosh. It was wild. Oh my gosh. We were, we were trying to warm up, but it would just be like, <laughs> you would serve the ball and it would come back and like hit you in the face. And you're like, what, where did it go? And it was the, some of the strongest wind. It was deep sand. It was raining off and on. It was not great. There were so many people out there. There were some people that were wearing some things they should not. Yeah. A speedo guy. Oh, it wasn't just like, one. I don't it even was, know. It was like a speedo. Thing. With long straps. No. It was like what was supposed was, to be around his hips were around his shoulders. <laughs> Wait, what? no. I think the best part though and it was is just a, it was just holding the the junk. It was very small. I didn't see the front thing. <laughs> I did. I turned around. I was like, no. <laughs> but it's so funny because we're about to warm up for one of our matches. Another oh. Brazilian team was warming up, and it's like this group of like they were bulky bigger guys, men. like bulky like in guys. shape or just like kind of thick. Uh, like I'd say a little. Both. Okay. Yeah, Some guys are in mix. shape and good. Okay. But just like this group of guys, yeah. like I don't know if I don't know if you and your group of guys just go get on a circle in a beach. <laughs> we don't wear speedos <laughs> doing that together, but, but, uh, but maybe kicking, maybe we would if we were all around. like kicking a volleyball around, like it, like eight guys yeah. at least, and then one just one. I'm like, did he lose a bet? <laughs> and it was a fantasy football thing. Yeah, like, he was a loser this year. It was lime green. Oh yeah, it was definitely a bet, right? It had it to have been like everybody looking at me, at him. Yeah, because wow. he was the only one. He was the only one. So the Brazilians walk in for their, like, we're all warming up at the same time. And they start pointing and laughing. And I was like, I looked at them. I said, I don't need to know Portuguese to know what you two are laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> because it was very. It was funny. That right. Is, that is <laughs> Do they ever cancel games or whatever for you guys? Like, if the wind if is bad? Light, if, if it's, it's lightning. lightning? Okay, okay, so, like, wind could be 45 wind. miles an hour. And you're just like, oh, we got to find a way. Figure it out. <laughs> Yep. And rain, I know rain. Like Rain doesn't matter. Yeah, that's yeah. so crazy. Literally, Literally just lightning. lightning. Yeah. Just lightning. She, That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> no. Especially if it's cold, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, good. Um, so three weeks training to prep, and that's it. And then mm-hmm. and then what, we, what did you say? Stad. It's Stad. And then it's Olympics. 
Yep. Holy shit. Yeah, it's getting real. It's I happening. feel like we've blinked and it's June. Yeah, I, I'm the, I feel the same way. I'm like, how is it here? Yep. Wow. So we'll maybe, are you guys going to be in and out of town? Or are you guys going to California to train? Or are you guys training here? Here. Oh, present. Let's I go. Know, a lot of trifecta, here. a lot of training. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we'll do one more podcast. We can actually be probably. timely yeah. with the podcast. That's okay. We'll probably get oh, what, like two more before Paris? Yeah. yeah, maybe we should bang a few out so that way. Yeah. Actually, it would probably be good. I saw some other notes on here, but like maybe just having some short episodes to put out during the Olympics yeah. while you guys are out there because oh, people are going to be idea. searching your names yeah. and like doing all that stuff. So it would probably be good for you guys. And we'll Love give that. you a bunch of content and all that stuff. Mm. Anybody who's managing your accounts can put that stuff out there because again you guys are there's going to be a lot of attention and eyes and all that stuff so, yeah. yeah yeah no that's a good idea yeah. perfect all right cool we'll get that on the calendar the next couple of weeks but congratulations love seeing new hardware that trophy is badass too so i love that and the metal is always nice like that color yep. let's visualize that we'll get a kettlebell and is it a kettlebell or cowbell cowbell, cowbell. Yeah, kettlebell. Probably wouldn't make sense. Kettlebell, you need to slow down on the gym a little I'm bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in a 45 guy, ball. okay? <laughs> what are we going to do to commemorate this one? We need a, a ball. Oh, we need to get an artist to draw. Yeah, because yeah, you said that person. Oh, if got... anybody knows an artist that can do this, oh, please yeah. let us know. All right, we got to, uh-oh. You had an idea. I did. Hmm? Kristen's going to do it. <laughs> it's going to be like a stick Surprise! Uh, that's yeah. great. Well, good yeah. stuff, ladies. Thank, Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we'll be back, I guess, in a week or two. Beautiful. Good stuff. Perfect. Thank you.